Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you my weekend pamper routine. So starting from shaving my facial hair to my body hair, hair mask, white hair treatment and also I do my nails on camera. So it's a very simple routine. I don't do a lot because I'm just lazy like that. But um, yeah, if you're interested then please continue watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start by taking my hair off my face. Nahi to paanch comment usse pe aa No, not really. But I also have to start by taking my hair off my face. And also, I'm gonna just um, apply a little bit of lip balm before I do anything. Because my lip is dry. It's dry. Okay, let's start. First, I'm going to shave my peach fuzz and all of that. I haven't done that in a long while. Okay, so I'm using the wheat trimmer. Uh, if you guys don't know, if you have not seen it before, then this is how the packaging and everything looks like. And uh, this is their improved version. They came out with their um, the first version like years ago, I think four or five years ago. I did not like that. I have a review of that. And then they came out with this one. And I quite like it. Why? Because its head is se turn hota hai. So it's very, very easy to like um, shave or trim the peach fuzz and everything. I'll show you guys. So... Uh, here's the thing, a lot of people like to do this on their dry face. I don't like that. Now ideally, if you have some sort of gel, that would be great, like aloe vera gel or something. I don't. So I'm going to use this uh, simple ultra light liquid moisturizer. This is more so like an essence only, if you guys can see the texture. Can you see that? That's how the texture is. So I'm going to just use a very light layer of this. And the best part about this is you can actually use this in the shower when your skin is wet. So you don't have to use it dry. So I'm going to start. This is battery operated by the way. Huh, there you go. I hope you guys can hear it. Okay, so I'm going to tell you how I like to use it. Okay? So I'm going to start with my forehead first. So on the forehead, I like to tilt this on my left. And... I just like to go over my forehead and just clean the peach fuzz. So that's my forehead pretty much done. One tip I'll give you guys is please don't overdo it. Even if you feel that okay, it's not good for one time, don't go like multiple times. Like okay, two to three times is still okay. Uh, but give it a gap, you know, give it a gap, let your skin breathe a little bit and get used to the whole process that you are doing. Don't go like four to five times. I think that is overkill. Um, and you know, you might even end up with like skin bumps and all of those things. Now, here's the thing. Um, okay, so I don't know if you guys can see, but forehead say I don't generally end up with a lot of hair, which is good. I'm just going to clean this. Now we are going to dive into the dangerous territory which is basically the cheeks. Now if you have like beautiful skin, you don't really suffer with acne and active acne and all of those things, you are probably going to be alright. But because I do suffer from active acne, one biggest tip when it comes to shaving or basically doing anything with your face is avoid this when you have active acne going on. I know it's very simple, nobody really wants to hear it. But so what I would do is when I had like... Um, like acne somewhere like here and there what I would do is I would still go with it but not necessarily on the active acne and even though you might think that I'm avoiding my active acne how is it going to really harm my skin I'm just going around the area just don't do it honestly don't do it you might think that you're avoiding that area but ultimately you are sort of like uh, disturbing the area around it and that can lead to inflammation and all of the bad things so when you do have active acne going on just avoid shaving your face altogether that's my biggest advice I've learned it the hard way I would just not shave my face until the acne subsides so for the left side of my face I like to tilt the head on the right side and then shave in downward motion Wow. There we go. There is a lot of peach fuzz. I like I mentioned before I hadn't 
shaved my face in a long while. And now of course I'm going to also remove the mustache hair. Now I'm going to use a face wash and just clean my face before we proceed with the next step. I am now back and now it's time for me to treat my T-zone whitehead situation. Why do I say only T-zone whitehead situation is because I am using Adaptine every single night so I don't want to overdo it with any actives on the rest of my face. So I'm going to use the Dot & Key Hydro Peel Glow Potion. 10% AHA, 2% BHA. As you can see I'm almost running out of it. I haven't used this in so long. Like, I don't know why, but I completely forget to treat my T-zone. So I'm just gonna drop here. A little on forehead. And on my chin. That's all. I don't think this is going to be as effective as it was when I first used it. Or, you know, when this was brand new. Because... It's been almost what six months, so let's see. Oh, okay, I can actually feel it. Maybe because I haven't used it in a while. So I'm gonna keep it for 10 minutes. What's the time right now? Um, it's 3 13. Okay, also, uh, be careful with this, you guys. Avoid using it on any area of your skin which has maybe a cut or a rash, it is going to aggravate the situation and it's going to burn. I had to put my hair up in a bun because the next thing that I'm going to do is on my neck. Uh, so I have this Thwak 25% AHA BHA peeling solution, right? And I, of course, don't use it on my face because it's way too much for my face. So the way I've been trying to finish it up is use, by using this on my neck and on my feet sometimes. I know. You guys are going to call me crazy that I'm using something like this on my feet. Or maybe not because, well, skin is skin. It can be on your face, it can be on your feet, it can be on your hand. Uh, but the thing is, my feet and my neck really um, gets just bad. As in like, I see dead skin cell more often than any other part of my body. So I've been trying to utilize this on those areas because of course I want to finish it up. Maybe at this point I'm just overdoing it because I'm talking too much. But I'm also going to use it on my hands you know what else i'm going to do with this right so i'm just gonna use it up wherever i can i'm going to now treat my hair so what i'm going to use is palmer's natural fusion chia seed argan oil hair mask this is one of my favorite hair masks from almost 2019 now after trying this i really haven't tried any other hair mask which is good but also is like wait a second like are you really a blogger bish maybe not <laughs> um so yeah i'm just going to apply this now honestly it's best if you like dampen your hair a little bit and then apply maybe you know what i should do that i'm gonna just uh dampen my hair a little and be right back okie dokie so here is my hair a little tiny bit wet and i'm gonna use this honestly if you don't like fragrance in your hair care products, you might not like it, but then I don't know. I mean, I'm okay with it, but it works like magic and that's what I love about it. So, so here's the texture of it. I think this is going to be my first time applying a hair mask on camera maybe. One of the best things I like about this mask is the consistency. I have tried Mama Earth's masks as well, but I don't know, I I feel like the consistency of that one is a little too thick. It almost does not really absorb, if that makes sense. Like for example, right now, can you see in just one pass, my hair is completely saturated with the mask. I don't feel the need to go over uh, with the mask multiple times. 
but I have noticed that I have to do that with the Mama Earth hair mask. Wow, it feels so good. Wow, I look presentable right now, huh? Okay, uh, so I still have like, I think five minutes before I wash this off. So in the meanwhile, 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 meanwhile I'm going to uh, take off my nail polish because I cannot go any further looking like this with my hands, you know? Uh, so I'm using the color bar on the go wipes actually I like this a little bit better than the Kara wipes Kara wipe has been one of my favorites but I don't know I like this a little bit more anyways so the plan is ki I'm gonna like you know take off my nail polish uh, right now and then I wanna do like the French manicure press-ons on camera wow removing glitter is damn dude it's so difficult no wonder i don't use glitter nail polishes so often pretty pretty much done now i'm gonna go take a shower you know maybe shave my body even though i don't think i need to but i'm gonna shave anyways and um what else what else i'm gonna use my dove body scrub really enjoy and pamper my body as well and i will be back in some time Wow, my skin feels so good. Also, my body skin feels super good because of the tough body skin. Anyways, I'm gonna uh, now use a little bit of moisturizer and I really love Nykaa's body milks. I have used it before as well. Their cherry blossom, I think, fragrance or the variant. But I love it because, I don't know, it's, it's, it's quick and easy. You just saw how easy it was to use. Um, this one straight up smells like strawberry because of course it is strawberry variant okay i'm gonna let my hair air dry a little bit and um, then i'll be back in some time after my lunch and we will do the rest of the things which is basically to make my nails look good oh my god what is hanging oh i'm back continuing filming this video after exactly one week so what happened is I couldn't find these French manicure kit that I had um, and then of course I didn't get the time to film it during the weekdays so here I am filming after almost a week so here's the thing if I want this to last for a really long time let's say for a week straight I would use my Miss Claire nail glue but I'm actually planning on getting my nails done again very soon so instead I'm going to use this uh, glue tab that comes along with it actually I just realized this does not come in the package this is from another nail set that I never really use so I am instead going to use this with the nail so let's get started it does come with this filer thing I don't know what it is exactly called I'm very bad at nail I don't know the technical terms but I'm just going to buff my nails uh, very gently so that it's easier and um, my nails or the glue lasts for a really long time
Okay, so I just finished doing both my hands and this is how it looks like. Honestly, these look beautiful. I'm gonna leave a link to this nail set in the description box below. Now, I'm just going to quickly moisturize my hand. It's very, very dry. This is looking real, real good. Only thing is, it's not very practical for your day-to-day -day work, especially when you're typing. Oh, it gets really tough. And that's why I prefer getting nails done because those are like pretty much permanent. You know, like those are just like your real nails. Those don't feel flimsy. Um, it doesn't feel like it's going to pop off any minute if you end up um, putting extra pressure or any of that. So that's why I like to get it done professionally. But I mean, these are not bad, right? Okay, so that is pretty much it. This is what I end up doing every single weekend almost. Well, sometimes I'm lazy and I skip it, but this is more so my weekend slash Sunday, Saturday um, pamper routine. It's very simple, very easy. Sometimes I do add certain steps or just, you know, do not do everything that I showed you in this video, depending on what is needed and what is not. But yeah, that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this helpful in some way or other. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.